So for number 44, we do want to find the area of the pool, and we're going to do it by using the midpoint rule. So um, we do have, let's see how many sections we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, if we're going to use the midpoint, we do have to break this up into four different areas. So what is really happening is we'll first take our midpoint here at 6.2, and then we'll we'll construct a, a rectangle whose height is this midpoint. So that is the first one. And then the second midpoint, um, maybe I am going to draw it. Oops, should have drawn that in a different color. So that is the first rectangle that we drew using the midpoint 6.2. And then the second rectangle, we use the midpoint 6.8. Uh, so it will be this rectangle over here. And then the third rectangle, we use the midpoint um, oh, and I, I, I drew that terribly because it should have been, yeah, it goes over here. So, yeah, we're evaluating at this midpoint. And then for the third one, we're evaluating it at the midpoint of 5.0. And lastly, for um, this other rectangle, we're evaluating it at... 4.8. So we can clearly see the height of each rectangle, right? Now we just have to look at their width. So previously, each of the, the sections, so we divided by 8 was 2. So now um, the width here is just 4 for every single one of them, right? So all we have to do is we're going to sum up these rectangles. So it is 4 times um, 6.2. Um, I think I'll put it like this so that it's easier. Plus 4 times 6.8 plus 4 times um, 5 plus 4 times 4.8. So when we're summing these up, we're just going to factor out the 4. So that is 4 times, let's see, 6.2 plus 6.8 plus 5 plus 4.8. That gives us 22.8. So when we multiply this out, the total, it gives us... 91.2 and because our units are meters uh, and we have an area so 91.2 meters squared so that should be um, the area of our swimming pool